Uh, Mr. Vanda is here. We mentioned your sponsorship tonight of the drawing. Tell me how a supermarket really, I mean, it's even more than that, obviously, pomegranate and a time have this connection, have the two get together. Okay, well, we also believe in pomegranate is besides that doing a service for the community that we give them the best shopping experience possible and we make their lives comfortable. You know, most of the personnel that we have over there do the best that we could that always to get them the best shopping experience. Besides that, it's giving back to the community, which is one of the most important things. All of our staff, which is close to 200 right now, are making a living out of the community, and everybody is doing very well. And we feel that in order for that you know, to continue, we need to give back to the community. And right from the get-go, we did that. And one of the things that we do is always, always sponsor good causes and always give back. And um, so uh, Rabbi Rosen came over to me last week. I was saying last week, last year, right. sorry for that, and asked me if I um, want to sponsor the Shabbos uh, the retreat that they do every year, which is uh, one of the most extraordinary things. And I took him up on the offer, and we had a Shabbos that was unbelievable. I, me and my wife were unbelievably inspired by that Shabbos, and then we, they, everybody over there was like close to 200 couples, Everyone had pomegranate food, and they were all <laughs> raving all Shabbos. And I think even today, people stopped me that were there for Shabbos. They said that they had an unbelievable experience, and they probably had a pomegranate experience, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I, I truly believe that the success that we have is because we are so involved in so many good causes. And uh, everyone has been very happy. And uh, the Shabbos that we had, it, it so, so inspired me so, so much that... Um, it made me feel that I'm it's something special, that I, I was part of it. I was part of something that is it's unbelievable. People who were not there, and most of the people are not, right. uh, can't understand it. What it means to these couples uh, to have a Shabbos like that. Um, I, I, ma I was married 25 years ago, and for the first five years, I didn't have children. And in those five years were very difficult years of my life. And there was no a time, there was no organization, there was no one to talk to. And when you're in trouble and you have a problem and it's a serious problem, it, the worst thing that can be is that you're lonely. You cannot talk to your parents, you cannot talk to your friends because they can't really help you and there was basically no one to turn to. So me and my wife were alone. So to see what a time is doing, having everyone listen to each other and having the speakers inspiring it was unbelievable, so it's really, really one of the greatest causes. Rabbi Rosen, a word or two? Yeah, I just want to just say, Mamish, two words. When we approach Mr. Banda, he's saying it very, very uh, casually. He, he sponsored the Shabbaton and the weekend retreat. Um, I just want to give a little bit of clarification what means sponsorship of, of, a, of a weekend retreat. When we approach somebody to give and not only give money towards the thing but cook everything and prepare everything sometimes you think you know the guy's going to cut corners you know he's going to cut over here cut over there in order to to save himself he's 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 in control you're not in control because he's the one preparing everything and putting everything together we went to the hotel the weekend before our weekend retreat and we we're talking to the chef of how many people we have how many couples we have coming and the freezer space and the refrigerator space that we will need in order to fit to the, the amount of meals that we're having in order to be able to give everybody what we needed. And he told us that we need approximately a freezer and a half of food. When we uh, when I arrived Thursday night before the weekend retreat, the caterer, which is Mr. Weiss from the perfectionist, which I want to thank him also for putting it together nice, and uh, put, putting it together so nicely. He called me into the kitchen. There was four full freezers packed to the gill of, 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 of stuff for Shabbos. I can't tell you that there was nothing missing for the Shabbos. I can tell you everything was given with the most biggest heart and the most devotion. When a pomegranate does something, they do it full force. 
And I don't know if it's the food or not the food, but our success rate usually by Shabbaton is between 50 to 60 percent of couples. Abu Hashem usually helped through, uh, uh, they don't come back the year later because our Shabbaton is only for couples that experience primary infertility. Right. This year, I think we're reaching 75 to 80 percent of couples that were helped that came year after year after year are not coming back this year. I don't know if it's the food or not. It could be <laughs> something to do with the food. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely the atmosphere, the simcha, and the, and the, the bright kite that, that, that everything was given definitely played a role. And the Ibish should help that he should be able to give and be able to participate in, 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 in all tzedukas and everything for the, for the call. Yes, sir, Rabbi. Uh, Mr. Banda, the yes, sir, please. Just one note, it just said 75%. We didn't reach the full year yet. We may get to 100 it's by the time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>